we lost our son Kevin to suicide. We just didn't know enough about it almost 10 years ago. We need to talk about this. We need to eliminate the stigma and talk about it. And then when we do, we'll find out that we'll lose less people to suicide because people will be willing. It, there, won't, there won't be the stigma, there won't be the shame and the embarrassment to come forward and get help for, for a mental illness if you've got anxiety, depression, or, or some other mental illness. Nothing's too hard for America, and nothing's too hard for soldiers, sailors, airmen, marine, and coast guardsmen to do. I mean, we can do this. We can eliminate the stigma. We've all got to work together to know the warning signs and to make sure we know our subordinates and we know our superiors and we know our peers. And don't make fun of them. If they got something wrong, it's serious. If they said, yeah, you know, I got high blood pressure, they don't think anything about it. But if they say, well, you know, I'm really sad. I'm really having some really tough time, you know, thoughts here and everything. Well, sometimes we kind of shy back from that. And instead, we should embrace it and say, you know, hey, let's, let's go get you some help, you know. Just because you haven't deployed doesn't mean you don't have the same warning signs. Just don't, doesn't mean you don't have the same mental illness. You could have it and never have deployed. I had a friend one time that told me, and I'll never forget, he said, you can't judge your contribution to the war fight by your proximity to Baghdad. So I think it's important to know that just because you haven't deployed or you haven't had three or four deployments and others have, that it, it's any different, you know, you're any different, uh, your illness is any less than someone who has deployed. I mean, our life w seemed great. And with one phone call, the world as we knew it was gone. It was different because we didn't know enough about mental illness, and now we do. So I think for us, the key thing is my wife and I take nothing for granted anymore, nothing for granted. We live one day at a time, and we try to keep our apertures wide open and be more accessible and, and see other people's pain and other things going on in the world much better than we ever did before. For us, I wish it had come 10 years earlier. We might still have our son back that died by suicide. So I, I ask people, take a step back, slow down a second, and look broader, and open your eyes to see what else is out there that you might be missing.